guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming the bad and boring tag. This one was created by Lisa Lobotomy, I believe is the name of the channel. And I saw some of my friends doing this video. So I decided I want to do that too. So here we are and let's get into it really quick. I will put the questions and the original video down in the description box if you guys are planning on filming this. I think it will be so fun to see more YouTubers do this tag video. So, so the first question, a foundation finish you don't like. For me, I think I like matte foundations more than dewy because I can add the glow by adding highlighter and setting sprays like the Tatcha Dewy Skin Mist. I would rather have a matte foundation over a dewy foundation, but the foundation I really just don't like the most is ones that aren't long wearing. Like I don't like it when it's the end of the day and I have no foundation on. I prefer a foundation that'll like hang on there like a clingy boyfriend, you know? <laughs> so I prefer matte, but if I had to pick one that I didn't like, it would just be like not long wearing foundations because I like to wear foundation from morning till evening when I like wind down. Number two, the worst mascara you have ever tried. <laughs> The worst mascara I've ever tried, there's definitely been a few. I don't like the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. I don't like the wand. I think it's too big. I feel like I always stab myself in the eye with it. I used to be obsessed with the Benefit Roller Lash. I don't really like that one either. I don't really like the Essence Mascara that everyone loves, the Lash Princess. I don't get the hype, but at least that one isn't high end. That's like five bucks, but... Those other two, I feel like I don't like. Number three, one thing you've tried once and then thrown away. Ooh, I've definitely tried like BH Cosmetics liquid eyeliners and thrown them away because they send you some usually with like your orders. You get like a free liquid liner. One time I was like, oh, let me try it. Whatever. It was free. It was so bad. Like as soon as it hit my lid, it like spread through like the cracks in my lid. And before you knew it, I had like a black eye situation going on and I was like, I don't care if you're the cheapest. I don't care like how much it costs, like I'm not gonna deal with that and I definitely threw it in my empties bin because I thought it was that bad. Number four, the most boring eyeshadow palette you own. I mean, I guess it would be like the Viseart neutral palette. <laughs> it's pretty boring. Um, but I still like it because it's great for, you know, days when I'm not trying to do the most. If I have something going on or like say if I had to go to a funeral, I'd probably use that palette. And I really also have the Natasha Denona Biba palette for that same reason. It's just an easy go-to palette, you know. And sometimes I do makeup on other people, so... Those are just like the staple palettes if you want to do like makeup on other people because not everyone wants like a green, blue, parrot inspired, tropical bird inspired eyeshadow look. So I like those palettes, but they are pretty boring. Number five, a makeup trend you think is boring and want to go away. Would it be a trend if it was boring? Makeup trend that's boring. I can't think of any makeup trends that are boring. Sorry guys. I love like I love like the graphic eyeliner. I like the neon I like the neon eyeshadow trend. So many good trends right now. Number six, the worst liquid lipstick you have tried. The worst liquid lipsticks I've tried are from a brand called Be Elegant, and I saw them on a Angelica video. She was talking about some of the shades they have that are more golden yellow toned. Actually, look like baby puke like yellowy liquid lips and I was like oh that's cool let me try that brand and they were having a good sale so I picked up like eight liquid lipsticks from them and those were the worst liquid lipsticks ever like they were so dry and they were so crumbly and I literally that was like one of those things I tried like one or two times and I was like uh-uh and so I feel really bad because I spent money on it but there's no way I would <laughs> I would put them on my lips. Number seven, what color do you think is the most boring one? Okay, because I just used this palette, this is this is the most boring. Like I think orange can be so fun, but ugh, this is so boring. Like I was playing with this palette and I'm like, why the fuck did I buy this? <laughs> um so 
yeah, I don't know. They're just bad shadows, and they made me like hate orange because I'm like, ugh, like come on. So I'm gonna go with orange. I think orange is the most boring eyeshadow color. Number eight. What brand do you think is coming out with the most boring things? I would have to say Makeup Geek. <laughs> like, oh my god, they need like they need a rebranding. Like, like I don't know. They need one badly. So. I hope they come out with some new things soon. I don't know what these new things will be because some of their new launches have still been pretty boring. And I know Marlena has like explained why the brand's gone through some of the staleness and obviously you can't control this stuff. Like life happens and she's been through a ton of shit but I would say Makeup Geek. Number nine, which step in your makeup routine is the most boring one? <laughs> the most boring step for me in my makeup routine is actually my skincare routine before my makeup. <laughs> I hate putting skincare on. Oh my gosh, it's so irritating. I actually really hate putting lotion on in general. But as far as makeup, the most boring step in makeup is probably powder powder so boring like it's necessary but it's boring and like it gets everywhere if you're using a loose powder so and then number 10 if you had to choose between a good base and a bad eye look or a bad base and a good eye look which one would you choose Ooh, that's a good question. I would choose a bad base with a good eye look because if I had a bad base on but you would guarantee me a good solid eye look every time, obviously that's the way to go because you cover up the base with the eyeshadow so what does it matter if your base is bad or good? You know what I mean? So that's what I'm going to go with. I would go with a bad base and a good eyeshadow look. So there's that. And that is it for the bad and boring tag. That tag was really freaking hard. So congratulations to Lisa for coming up with such tricky questions. And I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little video. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you in my next one soon. Bye, guys.